Hi there everyone, today I'm going to be sh doing a showcase of the, the Bards tournament. Uh, first of all I'm just going to show you um, the reward for it. It's, uh, it's a belt, relic belt, quite similar in stats to the, the last belt. Um, the main things to note are the crit chance has gone up, um, the crit damage on this goes up a lot if you evolve it. But anyway, basically the belt isn't too much better than the last one and um, the other reward is a tristone jewel which unfortunately in previous tournaments they've been sort of about uh, 100 680 damage and so this one's half the amount so just to start um, a lot of people were slightly against this tournament because uh, the rewards were, didn't seem that much worth it however anyway I did get actually get the artifact reward as you can see because a festival required me to do it and um, I had enough Valor Boxes, I decided to do it. So yeah, I, I've actually finished it early. Um, anyway, the challenges themselves, they actually uh, repeat, uh, what do you call it? Um, the ones which have been used before. Uh, so I'm just going to go in now, so I don't spend too long waiting around. Probably going to do this in two parts again. Uh, but yeah, so the challenges are all ones which have been used before. Which makes it a little bit... Um, hard to say not so much less interesting but more like because um, most of them are good ones ah, I'm losing train of thought now okay. what I mean to say is that there's some pros and cons one of the pros is it's good ones um, but one of the cons is it's not new content people want new content um, but anyway this one the main guy is this archer guy he brings in these walls which um, slow down your movement as you can see it's not very tricky there's another archer guy which you take down and I'm just going to finish this off. One thing I also wanted to say is um, from the next tournament onwards they're going to be having an extra difficulty, the platinum difficulty. Essentially, uh, they kind of phrase that wrongly. Um, the new difficulty is the one between silver and gold. Um, uh, they essentially have just increased gold difficulty slightly and incre um, brought in one between those top two difficulties because essentially uh, there are three difficulties to the tournament and there are four difficulties to the event and currently um, the gold difficulties kind of it's targeted at gold and platinum people and well, you can see that that last challenge just wasn't difficult and lots of these they're just way too easy for people with mythic gear. So, um, uh, but some of them are. Some of them are much more tricky than others. It's tr trying to balance it for all those people is difficult. So, um, essentially, that's why they've introduced this new difficulty. So this one, I like to take down um, the that guy up there. He's an archer guy. Then the other one. You got these guys who spawn suicide calls, which no one likes suicide calls. Fireball is your friend when there's two cycles about. Yeah, this guy is so slow moving, <laughs> you don't need to worry about him at all. Um, it's just the suicide calls, really. So, yeah, in this tournament, um, I think I found that pretty much all the challenges are easy, apart from two of them. It's the, the fourth one, it's the chicken one and uh, Dagon, or however you say his name, Dagon, Dagon. anyway, he uh, he summons towers and <laughs> they're ridiculously powerful. It's it's always hilarious after the other challenges. <laughs> um, but anyway, I do like these ones. I think, oh, I can't remember which one is my favourite. I always like Venerak. Yeah, the Venerak one's good. Ah, it's the Siege Beast. This one, when it first came out, was really tricky. Um, I like to use using Fountain just because it can get really tricky. So basically he does this slam down on the, on the ground thing. And when when this came up before it was a one shot. I think it's meant to be a one shot. Um, but just because they're weak for how powerful I am. It's not a one shot. But essentially, yeah. But all those targets are on the ground. And you need to <laughs> make sure you're not stood on the target. I think less come down than when this challenge came up before. Um, 
when it came out before, there'd be like a very small gap uh, and hopefully be close to you. Sometimes you'd have to run and teleport all the way over here just to find a gap on the ground. It was very frustrating. I think I died three times before I actually managed to complete this before, but um, yeah, this time around it's much easier. Now next we have the chickens. This is actually, um, oh is it new? I think this one might be new. Um, so there were chickens before, uh, but they changed the challenge a bit. Um, ah, lovely. Did I put the, yeah I did. Okay. Alright, so for the chickens, I definitely need fiber. Um, I find this so frustrating. Yeah. What's really annoying as well is when it's a different thing to what actually uh, what the offer which actually comes up. Anyway, so this one we're going to face lots of chickens, different types of chickens, and once again they do not count to your overall chicken kills, which is the most stupid thing ever. Anyway, so it's going to take a while here. Um, I'm not going to bother waiting for the thief on this one either. Uh, basically, this is the one chicken you got to worry for. I worry about. He's very powerful, so you want to put a protection bubble on. Um, oh, and yes, it lags a bit. Lovely. Okay, the other chickens aren't too bad. Um, I'm just going to keep incinerating him just to get this over there quickly. He runs off and recharges, well, like it calls it recharging, um, and spawns these big ones and gives you a little bit of a breather and then he starts chasing after you again stupidly fast and yeah that's when it gets all a bit scary because there are lots of chickens running around uh, but that time he didn't really spawn many so it was all under control nice and smooth but anyway that's the that's the really powerful and hopefully in the future in tournaments they won't have certain ones which are much more powerful than others I look forward to the Dagon one. Into this. Ah, this is one which is. I think this is the third time it's come out. Um, it's usually really tricky, um, but this time round, not so bad. <laughs> um, basically, there there are three groups you gotta you gotta go up against, um, and these giants they love their special skills. All right, so I'm just gonna run out of there probably saw I incinerated the healer then you want to uh, it doesn't really matter which one you go for whether it's the healer or the um, the fire conjurer both of them are really bad uh, just take down one of the two to begin with and then the other one and keep moving around because those melee ones will go after you now the thief appears around here yep there you go nicely timed all right wow I'm actually low on mana <gasps> oh we'll kill gun this next one, there are two fire conjurers. Um, I will run in with incinerate ready, get the first one, and then I use the protection bubble to sort of run around and not get damaged by the fire ones. Oh god, and then get the second one. I love it when there's lag and there's fire. Okay, now the third group, there are, I think two healers and a couple of archers. Anyway, basically, if you take them on this order, um, you get more um, more ranging enemies as the groups progress. But yeah, basically, I didn't do it this time, but what you want to do is you want to, um, if you're ranged cars, stop here and start attacking one of the healers. They'll create their healing things here, which means then you can run over, melee enemies will follow you, archers are here, nothing gets healed by the uh, healing fountains and you can take out the second one, second healer. Because the last thing you want to do, especially if, you, if you're a knight, is charge in there and then the, um, uh, I don't even know what to call them, I call it healing fountain. It's, you know what I mean, the, the thing they create which heals the enemies around it. Uh, if they create that right in the middle, it's really annoying because the archers will wipe you out and you can't kill them. This one is particularly easy, always has been, um, I'm actually racing through these, cool, okay, so essentially there are two ninjas, one of them is a melee guy, he will run in, I'm not even going to attack here, 
just to show you. Basically, he'll sprint around and stuff, do spinning attacks. The other one will heal him, which usually you can kill him before the heal goes off. You can see my health just wasn't going down. And then this guy, the only thing you've got to worry about, worry about is these fireballs. But that's just a simple run around in a circle. And the heal on himself isn't as strong, so you can still damage him through the heal. Basically that's the way this one works. There are no other enemies. As long as you can tank the um, the melee guy to begin with, you're sorted on that one. many achievements. Oh, what's this one? R6, oh, okay. Right, next we have Venerak. Cool. Now, Venerak is one because it's mainly a single target thing. I'd normally switch to Healing Fountain instead of Fireball um, with my normal setup, but uh, he actually spawns... Um, you want to stand here, by the way, so you don't get hit by that. Uh, he won't attack you till you move. So he actually spawns, um, I can't remember what they're called, they're like these little imps, fire imps, whatever they are, and I do like to keep fireball for them. Now, you should know his attack pattern by now, but yeah, basically that's the move you want to avoid. Um, the other ones aren't so bad, they still do a bit of damage. And he will spawn here, yep, here we go, imps. So I like to have fireball just to sort of take them down quickly they do get spawned. Here we go. Ooh, it dropped an ironwood staff. I'm so lucky. Alright, I'm just going to quickly check my inventory. Yep, we've got space. Good. Okay. Next we've got... Ooh, Cold Boulder. I kind of like this one just because it's ice enemies. I don't know what it is about the ice enemies, but I just... I really like them. And if you watch the first video I ever made, um, I didn't realise my uh, video reco uh, screen recorder actually recorded voice. Uh, so I've got annotations throughout the whole video. But that was my favourite event. Um, okay, here. Like with lots of tournaments, basically, you want to when there are two enemies like this, and more enemies spawn when they die, you actually want to take down both the enemies at once. Uh, it's quite simple to do, but um, I'm not going to do it here, just to show you what does happen. Um, I was just waiting for the thief. So basically, this rock guy, he is super slow, doesn't do anything, don't need to worry about him. The ice guy, um, he's like a mage, uh, you can see he just stands in the middle here. Basically that spikes thing along the ground is what you need to worry, uh, worry about. It does a lot of damage. Um, so yeah, whichever one you kill, icicles come down. I don't know why they didn't do a sort of rock equivalent. But um, yeah, we have to lose connection right now. Oh no, I don't want to die on this one. This one is a really easy one. And okay. So basically quite a few range enemies appear. Normally more sort of suicide ghoul like enemies appear, but either way. It shouldn't be too tricky. You can't really get yourself messed up. As long as you kill the ice um the ice giant first. Because you don't want to have all his all his mage stuff falling down on you while you're trying to deal with all the enemies as well. Okay, we're reaching the end of the 15 minutes here, so I'm just gonna leave it here. And I'll upload part two soon. Hope you all enjoyed it.